Hello there guys and welcome back to another epic inexorable maths video. In this video we're looking at how we're going to integrate sin x and cos x, okay? So we should be happy with differentiating sin x and cos x and what we're going to do with integrating is simply go the other way. So if we already know and can prove, and I have videos on proving why this is true, but if we know that if we have let's say some y equals sin x, this means that the derivative with respect to x is cos x, okay? Equally, if y equals cos x, then dy dx, the derivative, is equal to minus sine x, like this. So what you end up getting is this kind of circle. So sine x differentiates to cos x, cos x differentiates to minus sine x. Therefore, the derivative of sine x is cos x, and there's a minus sign in front. So the derivative of minus sine x differentiates to minus cos x, and cos x differentiates to minus sine x. So minus cos x differentiates to minus minus sine x, which is positive sine x. So to differentiate, you just simply follow this sort of circle, right? This is this is how you differentiate uh, cos and sine x, okay? Now, because integration is the opposite of differentiation, if you want to integrate, you simply go backwards. So to integrate, you just follow these arrows, but you go the other way around. So the integral of cos is sine. The integral of sine is minus cos. The integral of minus cos is minus sine. The integral of minus sine is cos, etc. So what we can do is we can write down these little formula for us. So the integral of sine x with respect to x is minus cos x plus c. So it's so a sine always goes to a cos regardless of whether you're integrating or differentiating. It's just a case of whether there's a minus sign in front. The integral of cos x with respect to x is sine x. And remember with all integration, you always add a plus c um, if it is indefinite integration, i.e. if there are no numbers at the top and bottom of the integral, which we will see uh, shortly. Okay, so that's basically how you integrate sine and cos x using integration. In order to check that this is correct, you can differentiate minus cos x, that does give you sine, good, and you can differentiate sine x, that does give you cos so this must be correct. So the integral of sine x is minus cos x plus c. The integral of cos x is sine x plus c. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.